Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Virginia from Virginia and I cover everything from style, beauty, and sometimes Today we're going to cover my favorite summer dresses and let's get started. The first dress we're going to get into is an ASOS design linen cami maxi midi depending on how tall you are um, dress. It is um, described to be a relaxed fit. It is mostly cotton with a a little percentage about eight percent linen um it is fixed straps i like the thicker straps because i am a bigger busted young lady and i have to in most cases um than not <laughs> wear a bra so this can cover um pretty much all of my bra straps um the neck line is a scoop neck and um, I sized down in this dress because um, I, I was tipped off to get this dress in um, one size down. Because of my height, 5'4", it is more of a maxi uh, length, but it is so relaxing, soft. It gives very much rich auntie vibes when I pair it with a um, very kind of almost um, mid to chunky uh necklace um to go with it and some some slides and i'm out the door and i look polished which is what i strive for the next dress is this stowed coral um cotton blend number uh it says cotton blend but to be honest the dress feels like that swish swish material for uh, jumpsuits and things of that nature that we used to buy back in the day. Um, it's not very like loud swish swishy, but it's soft and got that slip like the swish swish <laughs> um, <laughs> jogging suits. Um, however, uh, the, the dress feels comfortable, it's breathable, um, and uh, it has the ruched detailing in the middle and the little bit of sexiness where you can show your little you know you know a little part of your stomach giving you like almost like a crop type of feel um it is very maxi and very long on my five foot four frame um heels would pull it up off of the ground um i can't wear flat sandals or it will drag but i loved it because of the the front uh, detailing in the front styling um, again heavy chested so that I can wear a bra and I also liked the balloon sleeves um, very on trend and I thought I would try another color even though I'm doing the whole transition to neutral colors um, in my wardrobe I thought I would throw this in there now I'll, I'll take an outfit and I'll take a, uh, a, a piece that is unique and very beautiful in, a, in, a, in another color other than a, a tan or a uh, black or neutral or earth tone color. Um, so this was one of those pieces that I, I have been coveting this since, I believe it was the, some sale that was going on. I can't remember what it was called, but I got this from Farfetch. And by the time that I bought this, it was on sale. Um, this is more on the higher end of the price point at over just over $200. Um, maybe it was about 254 251 but um, full price it was $300 plus. Dollars. So I was able to get this dress that I had been coveting since. I can't remember the store sale that was going on. Um, I think, I can't remember what the store sale was. Um, but I had been coveting it since that store's sale. And um, I waited and I was able to get it at a sale price. And I love it. This dress for me is, is very similar to another dress that I'm going to show. And, and I bought these two dresses because they were on trend with a Beyonce inspired dress or Beyonce, a dress that Beyonce was wearing. Um, and so I figured if Beyonce's wearing this, the, the front style with the little peekaboo 
tummy situation. I, I liked it more so not because Beyonce was wearing it, but because I could wear a bra with it and show a little skin and a little be a little extra sexy and a little, you know, extra feminine um, in, in this style. So using this style. So that's what that was all about. Let's move on. <laughs> the next dress up is the voluminous poplin dress, navy blue from Zara. Now I have to tell you guys, I hated this dress because I saw it all around Instagram and I hated it. I don't know what it was about it, but I, I maybe because sometimes I get turned off when I see um, something that's just worn by everyone. But this dress ended up going on sale and I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I bought it in a medium. I could have used a small. I'm sorry, but it is sold out right now. Um, and I end up liking the dress. I end up loving the dress actually. And it became kind of like the the uh, blueprint for how I was looking for other dresses this 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 season and this year, which would be the more voluminous, more flowy um, balloon sleeve with a more fitted type of, of top. Um, I love it. Um, the medium sufficed because it has drawstrings um, in the waistline where you can draw the strings tighter to your waistline um, as well as uh, drawstrings on the sleeves where you can again adjust those to your liking and pull the sleeves up your, um, up your arm if you want to do a three quarter. Um, sleeve, I actually think it starts at three quarter, but you can adjust it to your liking. Uh, I also, I also love the color. Um, I don't think I've ever had a blue, navy blue dress, but this this dress was perfect. It's beautiful with gold accessories, even though the detailing on the dress um, is um, the clasp for the for the drawstrings is silver. Um, I tuck the sleeve clasps in um, so that you can't really see those. And most of the time, when I'm walking or I'm wearing the dress and my and my arms are down, you can't see the silver detailing. So. I go ahead and I put um, on my gold jewelry and I even wear it with my Valentino um, sandals that have gold detailing in them as well. And it's a great uh, date night dress, when, a very casual, nice date night dress. And I have worn it on date night and um, the honey, he liked it. So um, <laughs> two thumbs up is a win-win, you know? So I got it at a sale price for, you know, I got to try it at a sell price, um, you know, being that I didn't initially like the dress, but now I love it and I got it at a great price for it. So that's win-win, that's the plus plus. The next two more dresses are going to be Zara dresses. And the first one is, uh, I was influenced once again by Melissa uh, Wardrobe on Instagram. And, and she kind of came through in the clutch because um, this was during a time, a very stressful time, when I was very stressed out with my nine to five, and um, I wanted to, I needed that retail therapy, and I was watching her channel, and I just was like, let me tell you, I'm, I'm gonna say it here, but I'm not gonna say it on Instagram because I don't want her to, to, to switch up the game. But why wouldn't you buy a recommendation from a celebrity stylist, and it's affordable? What are we? What are we? What is there to say? What are we doing? What are we doing? Zara dress. It is of. I don't even know. I want to say of course, but at this point, everyone should know. The rustic ruched dress, the white dress. Um, it's a short dress made of stretched linen. All right, all right. I'm contradicting myself, and I'm gonna make other videos where I'm gonna be saying this a lot because I have made several linen purchases that I love. And that's just the way it is. So um, I really love this dress because you can dress this dress up or you can dress this dress down. And that is the absolute best part of it um, for me. The second best part of it is that it is very flattering on the frame. I'm 5'4", so it's not too short, but it's it's short enough to be sexy and it's it's just great. I got a small in this dress. Could have went for a medium because y'all should see the time that I have getting in and out this dress. 
um but i can get it on i can get it off it, it doesn't feel too tight um so it's definitely a keeper and also it's sold out so sorry sorry guys so sorry don't don't be mad at me i'm just gonna hop into the next dress so y'all can quickly forgive me for 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 putting that dress in here and knowing that it's sold out and i'm black so the next dress is another zara dress it is the ruffle dress trf don't know what the trf stands for but Here's another dress that I was unsure of, but I, I went ahead and ordered it because I wanted to see how it would look on. And I tried it on. Initially, I did not like it. Initially, I did not like it. And I'm just, I'm still not convinced. However, um, I got a second opinion and my cousin was like, well, I definitely can see you wearing that on date night, throwing on a, you know, which I had do and I do in this video, um, throwing it on with a blazer. Um, I even could see myself throwing on a chunky sweater to go with this late in the fall. Um, and I can even see myself, you know, walking around the house in it and, you know, just not a house dress, like not a nighty or anything, but you know, on a Saturday when you don't want to necessarily get dressed, but you put this on and you are dressed. And if you have to run out the house, it's a perfect dress for, for doing that. So um, I decided to keep this dress, keep it around uh, for these times. And it does have a V-neck. The straps are spaghetti and they are adjustable, which kind of got me sewed on it just a slight, slightly more because now I can wear it, um, I can adjust the straps and kind of hide if I do wear a bra from the front. And um, of course that's a plus for me. It is, um, it is maxi, it's like a high-low um, hem that it has and it does not drag the floor if I have sandals on but I love the ruffle detailing um it's a very basic dress just just so you know it is literally very a very basic dress with just a very exaggerated hem but um every now and then you need like one of those basic not basic pieces but those basic but not really can be something else because I gotta run out of house types of dresses so this is what this is if you're looking for something like that this next dress is my favorite dress and I saved the best for last. I saved the best for last and um, I, I absolutely adore this dress. It fits like a dream. It is a sauce edition extreme sleeve linen midi dress. It is 56% <laughs> linen. So, I'm really getting into this linen thing. I, I think I'm understanding how it's supposed to be, be worn in the summer. Um, and, and I feel like almost more so like, almost like a transition piece. I could be wrong, but I'm kind of getting on board. I'm getting on board. And I think at this point in this juncture in the game, everyone knows that linen's gonna wrinkle. So when you get to where you are, people will <laughs> probably tell you got on linen. But the good thing about this is that it's not all linen, so it does give um, extra space for it to not wrinkle as much. Um, this dress is um, a sweetheart neck. And as you can see, again, it has this Beyonce inspired um, dress detailing where the cutout is in the stomach. And um, it's a crisscross design at the top part with balloon sleeves. And I can actually wear a bra with this even though it is backless i got this in my correct size which is a four um it has a somewhat of an attached sash where you can almost tighten the dress up just a little bit more um and it, it'll kind of tighten a little bit more in the bust area and, and hold you a little tight but i have like, shh, 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 shh. I have a bra with this. I just tuck the, the straps uh, underneath. Um, and it is the most sexiest summer dress I probably have right now, let me think. Mm. To me it is, it's the most sexiest dress. It is, um, it says it's a midi dress, but on me it's a maxi 5'4". Um, I can wear flat sandals with it and it does it drag the ground? I don't believe I can't remember. But yeah, I can wear flat sandals with it. I'm because I love the dress so much. I'll be so I'll be conscious of it dragging anyway. 
Um, but this this is my favorite dress, and it is it is true to size. I love it. Got it from ASOS, and hopefully, pretty sure I have a feeling. The weirdest thing is that this dress was not sold out, and this dress is when I say it's banging, the dress is banging. So I would not be surprised if this dress. Um, at some point in time, will become sold out, and you can see more of your favorite influencers sporting this dress. So. Well, that's all I have for you today. I wasn't going to bore you guys to tears and have 25 dresses up here, um, mainly because I don't have 25 new dresses. Uh, <laughs> that was one of my um, my goals. I had to re um populate my closet with dresses and I really am just being purposeful about sustainability and minimalist minimalism um I'm, I'm tired of clutter and I just really want to get um good use and wear out of the things that I do have um this one thing that this pandemic has taught me is that um less is more <laughs> there are more important things um to be worried about and um, there are people who uh, do not have, and I have just taken a whole lot of stuff out of my closet and donated it um, so that people who are um, less fortunate than I am can um, can benefit from my horrible spending habits. Um, but I'm really just hoping that I really help somebody out during this time of need in any way that I can. And I've been doing that through my um, per being purposeful about being purposeful about doing that during my nine to five, as well as my ordinary life, even blogging. Um, sometimes we just have too much, guys. I mean, and, and sometimes less is is really more. And it could be a getting older type of thing. Uh, but I'm just really blessed to be um, a blessing. Thank you so much for uh, sticking it out this long. If you have made it this far, why don't you just go ahead and clickety clap on that uh, subscribe button and tippity tap your way all the way down into the comment sections and let me know what dress was your favorite. And I will continue to try my best to make uh, more content, content, mm, <laughs> content that you all are interested in seeing. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Until the next video.